Hey, Sammy fam, my fellow isolated friends around the world. It is depressing out there, but it is fun in here. And we are going to make something fun with what was left on the grocery store shelves, because honestly, that is kind of a problem, at least where I live right now. Um, it's not a problem getting enough food. It's just a problem getting like enough coherent items to go together to make a dish. So we're going to make something weird and kind of simple and kind of uh, kind of ghetto. I don't mean that in a bad way. It's actually, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Um, you'll see in a second. We got to start with the covered old sheet pan here. Because we're going to make like a sheet tray nachos. Because they're very simple to make and they're one of my favorite dishes. And you can make them with just like whatever you want. Uh, luckily for me today, we're going to be making beefy nachos, which is one of my favorites. I got a whole bunch of seasoned beef already cooked up here. You know, cumin garlic, mm. chili, onion, oregano, a little soy sauce for salt actually, soak the beef in that, very tasty, we got, instead of chips, we're going to be using Cheetos, I guess people don't want to stock up on Cheetos, why not, Cheetos are delicious. Gotta make sure I have enough Cheetos set aside for my wife because they're one of her favorite foods, as they are also one of my cat's favorite foods. I I don't know why. I think it's like the the powder on them, the cheese powder. Somehow like the dairy of that, the like fatty dairiness attracts cats. They love it. Let's get a nice layer of Cheetos down. Our seasoned beef. I'm realizing this is about to get sloppy. And that is okay. Get a few more Cheetos on here. Yes. Chicken would go well too, but like all the chicken is sold out everywhere around me. I actually, um, I had to go into a bodega that's next to the grocery store to get this next ingredient. Ta-da, because the grocery store was sold out. Um, but as I was in the bodega, an old man came in. And he's like, y'all got any chicken? Nobody's got any chicken. Because chicken is like sold out everywhere. I don't... Yes, salsa con queso that only took half an hour to open. This is going to be the orangest nacho party ever. Super cheesy, but mm. I think we need even more. Gotta make it a little green. We got the cilantro. Lots of cilantro. I love cilantro. And the green onion. But we don't want all that just loose on top. Let's go ahead and hit it with this nice Mexican taco cheese mix thing, whatever that means. I think it just has like cumin in it already. It's um, cheddar, Monterey Jack, asadero, and queso blanco. Real cheese, real good. Well, I'd hope it's real cheese. What else is this gonna be? Okay, I may have made too much. And then on top of that, oh my god, this is salsa. See, look at the beautiful thing that you can create from simple ingredients left over from people hoarding. I love it. Mm. 
Okay, I'm gonna throw this in the oven. I preheated it to like 350. Probably take like 10 minutes or less. Just keep an eye on it. If you smell it burning, you know, stop. Real quick, I gotta address a question I know a lot of you guys are having. So why the fuck did Sammy Boy not put any refried beans, black beans, pinto beans, nothing on there? Um, because all the beans are sold out. That's why. All right, we got some nachos here. And now I gotta figure out how to get this onto here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just preemptively take off my wedding ring and my glasses, because this is going to be messy. I realize it may not look super appetizing now that I've destroyed it visually by pouring it onto here, but I think it's gonna taste super good. And now it's like all mixed together. So that's the problem with nachos when you get them like assembled all beautifully is that you have to build each bite, but now it's pre-built, like everything's distributed perfectly. So I'm down with it. Okay. Very cheesy. First self-critique though. Cheetos do not have a scoop shape. So you kinda gotta just scoop it in your hand. So you have to be even more willing to give up the pretenses of politeness and table manners to eat this kind of nacho than you would with a regular nacho, which is already messy. But you know, it's salmon boy. That is what we specialize in. Look at, oh. The whole bar's deliciousness. I'm so glad I used like a little soy sauce to season the, um, the beef instead of actually putting salt in it. Cause you know, Cheetos themselves have some salt. The cheese products I use have some salt. So it does not need any more salt. Soy sauce gave the delicate savory flavor the beef needed. Mm. Which of course all the, with of course all the cumin and the chili. I think I do need a drink of water though. I found out something kind of disappointing. <clears throat> Earlier today and just now, um, the place where I buy a lot of my shirts, this shirt that I have on, the underwear and the socks that I have on too, has closed. It was the Uniqlo at Atlantic Center. They had great deals on underwear. They were high quality, high quality socks, good deals, lots of different colors, so I appreciated that. I could match my shop, my socks to my top, you know. But I guess their business is so low right now, they've closed for the foreseeable future. But I just noticed as these were in the oven, that my underwear has a hole in it and my balls are hanging out. This is not a fault of the underwear. The underwear are great. This is a fault of me walking like 15 to 20 miles a day every day. And my consequently thick, muscular, cakey thighs. Rubbing holes in my underwear. It happens. 
It's a consequence of my um, bearishness. But now I won't be able to get more underwear there. Luckily, my wife picked me up a few pairs um, when she was at a different location of the store. Like last week before they closed, so I have a little buffer. But I also tear through socks, you know, because of all the walking again. But hopefully we'll make it. We just did laundry yesterday, and I imagine we probably won't do it again for a long time because we're just wearing, you know, athletic clothes and stuff. And wearing robes and underwear around the house. Crazy. One good thing did happen today, though. I was down at the mall where I saw the unique clothes closed because I was going to Target since everywhere around me in my like immediate few blocks, all the stores are out of um, like hand soap refills. I need to refill the pump in the bathroom and the one by the kitchen sink. I could have just gotten bar soap, but I figure like I have the dispensers. I might as well try to get hand soap first, like liquid hand soap. And I found they had like four big refill bottles of it at Target. So although I was tempted to buy two bottles, the combination of not wanting to be a dirty hoarder and the fact that I had to carry it all the way home um, stopped me from it. They also had restocked some of the Charmin. They didn't have the one in the purple package that I like a lot, but I got a, a pack of Ultra Soft, Soft. Ultra Soft. Just one pack, though. I'm not a bad consumer. And we were actually low on toilet paper, so the, we got a, I just got like a six-roll pack. Because we actually needed it, or else we wouldn't be able to wipe our bums, because every store around me is sold out of toilet paper. Because some people are cray cray. People watching like the toilet paper industry is going to go out of business. No. Man, I hope that my like investment funds had stock invested in toilet paper. I don't know who owns Charmin, but. Goddamn. What is going to go out of business are all the restaurants, which I'm really sad about. We had this huge list of like places that we wanted to try. We we're going to be like 2020 is our time of like we're going to be trying at least one new restaurant a month. Nope. And we can do delivery now, and we're trying to. We got delivery from a place we hadn't got it from before yesterday. And that was really good. And I know I gotta go check and see if my favorite bagel place is still open. Cause if so, I need to buy some bagels there periodically to do my part to help them stay open. And be here when things get back to normal in a year or more, who knows. Speaking of, guys, I don't wanna harp on it, but click the link below for the City Harvest donation the food charity and donate a dollar or anything they're tripling donations right now with um like tripling matching because of their generous board members so you donate you donate a dollar three dollars you donate a hundred dollars it's really worth three hundred dollars i just donated five hundred dollars so please follow suit if you can Mm. This is some delicious ass nachos. It's actually kind of like um, Frito pie. If you're from the Midwest or the South, you probably know what that is. Except, you know, I made it loose and not in the bag. Man, we used to have Frito pie was a meal at my elementary school.
And we loved it. It was one of the best meals I had. For non-Southern Americans, Frito pie is just Fritos and like, in the school lunch version, it's just like their ground taco beef. Usually seasoned the same way. Um, like shredded cheddar cheese. And maybe, maybe an ice cream scooper of uh, refried beans. You can do it fancier for us, but that's how it was at the elementary school. I love getting those ice cream scoop. You get like an ice cream scoop of ground beef, you know, plop, and an ice cream scoop of beans. Man, simpler times. You know what? That was fantastic. I think I need a sweet treat though. So my wife and I bought these at a Target in Flushing, Queens. Um, the day after Valentine's Day, I believe. Since they were on sale, it was like buy three packs, get one free, but you could buy like three packs from any kind of their Valentine's chocolate. So we got this and a couple other things. But these are so good. They need to make these year round because they're like lava cake kisses. Um, let me show you. They just look like a normal Hershey's kiss, but I dropped it in cheese. I dropped it in cheese again. Damn. On the inside, they're full of just creamy molten chocolate. And they're like crunch and then creamy. And it tastes so good. And the textural experience. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's my little treat. I'm trying to... I've been trying to give myself little treats. But not too much, because I don't want to eat like a whole tub of ice cream. Because I will if I buy myself a tub of ice cream. But I can have three little chocolates, and it's... Just a nice pick-me-up. Feels good. You gotta treat yourself. Stay safe. Have fun.